good morning all today we will discuss about moment of inertia of circular ring about its natural axis about its natural axis natural axis it is nothing but the axis passing through the center and plane perpendicular to the plane of the ring it is called as a natural axis so about this axis moment of inertia i am calculating which is i so let consider the mass of the ring it is m m is a total mass of the ring and radius is given by r okay now axis passing through the center o and about this axis moment of inertia is taken as i now consider a small length element which is nothing but dr and his mass is taken as dm small portion of the segment which is taken as dm now what is the mass per unit length mass per unit length mass per unit length it is nothing but total mass but total length total length is nothing but 2 pi r now what is the mass of dm small portion dm is equals to mass per unit length 2 pi r and the uh, length of that segment length of the segment it is taken as dr okay now i am calculating moment of inertia moment of inertia about natural axis according to the formula moment of inertia which is equals to mass into square of the distance for small portion of mass and moment of inertia it is di so total if you need then you have to apply the integration integration dm and r square r it is nothing but radius the distance it is taken as capital r okay and uh, the limits from 0 to total perimeter total perimeter is nothing but 0 to 2 pi r now substituting the value of dm dm that is i is equals to integration from 0 to 2 pi r <coughs> dm dm ka value already we got m by 2 pi r dr into r square of course r are going to be cancelled out and applying the integration so before that 2 pi r is it taken as a constant and integration of dr that is mr by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi the integration limits integration of dr which is equals to r limits 0 to 2 pi r now substituting the limits mr by 2 pi upper limit is 2 pi r and lower limit is 0 so 2 pi is cancelled out so last at last you are getting the equation of the formula or the resultant moment of inertia for circular ring that is i is equals to m r square about the natural axis okay now what is the radius of gyration radius of gyration radius of gyration that is root of i by total mass of the ring that is moment of inertia just now we calculated mr square and mass of the ring it is m cancelled out so the radius of gyration which is equals to r okay thank you